hey guys so welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you that how we can create a device collection and deploy application in sccm so in our last video we created a 64 bit application then we created a 32 bit application so now we are going to create a device collection and will deploy the application and test the application on client computer so just go back and uh, log on to your sccm server So guys, I have logged on to my SCCM server. So now click on start button, open a configuration manager console. From workspace area, click on asset and compliance, then device collection. Right click on device collection, create a device collection. So here we need to provide a logical name so we'll type windows laptop or you can name name it whatever you want okay then limiting limiting collection click on browse select all the system and okay then click next add rule direct rule next the resource class system resource the attribute name name and from the value we need to enter the percentage sign then click next from here we need to select the device where we want to deploy application so in this demo i'm going to deploy application on my windows 10 computer pc2 select the device or devices then next 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 and close and close so now you can see that uh, we have a windows collection so it will refresh we added one computer so it's showing that we have one computer in this collection which is a windows pc2 okay so now time to deploy so again go to software library from the workspace area application management application select the application this is the main application but if we click on deployment type it's a 32 bit or 64 bit so we need to click on the main application so just select the main application right click deploy so the software name is a 64 bit from collection click browse so from here we need to select so user collection we need to select a device collection so once we select device collection you can see we have a windows laptops okay so member count is zero so click ok Then next so is the by default automatically distribute content for dependencies so then we need to click on next from here uh, you can see additional distri point, uh, distribution point or group so we need to click on add and we select the distribution point the point should be your SCCM server so it's showing that is on-prem server then ok then next is a default so action is a installed or you can choose uninstall once you are going to uninstall the application we'll talk later about this but the purpose is available or required so available so then next here is the schedule if you want you can 
schedule this application or we are going to install this application so we don't uh, create a schedule click next so user notification display software center and only display on notification computer alert okay so if you want you can change the user notification so again click next so here are the specify configuration manager and uh, operation manager alert so if you want you can create a deployment alert when the threshold is higher than following value but we are not going to uh, select any kind of threshold or all the things so we are just going with the default settings click next here is the summary then again next and here we go so all done so now we need to close so now it's time to switch back to our client computer which is a pc2 yeah so if we'll go to device collection windows laptop or we have a pc2 okay so let me turn on my pc2 i'm going to start my pc2 So we just turn on the computer so may this take few minutes or so the first thing how we can verify just click on start type a soft then you need to click on software center So guys if you are working on a day to day activity software center is like a most important you need to understand about software center how you can install or uninstall settings then you should have an also idea about uh, how we can troubleshoot error from our uh, control panel configuration manager all the things okay so it's still loading so guys it's loaded but still application not showing here so again we need to check the computer name make sure it's the same computer where we deploy the application okay, it's a pc2 so quickly i'm going to run the software action items so click on control panel configuration manager click on action so we need to select the application yes yeah, software inventory cycle okay so click on okay quickly I'm going to restart the computer so guys this took near about five minute as a lab environment so maybe in your environment if you have a large number of objects so this will take at least uh, two to three hours so now we can see that uh, application is start reflecting under uh, software center application so now you need to click install this application so now it start downloading so waiting for the installation so from here you can see the version number which we defined so the restart required might be required so you can see within a single like a click it's totally depend on the size so we say here if for, if for example you have a large application so may that take more time so now you can see the application is installed so if we can go to control panel
uninstall program and features okay so now you can see that uh, 7 zip 1900 64-bit and publisher is all already there and the date installation date and the size of application and uh, version so guys in this way we can create device collection and deploy application to our client so thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye